Welcome. Memorial Day is a day to remember and celebrate the lives of the service men and women who have fought for our country and helped give us the freedom we have today. Their sacrifice and service will never go unnoticed. In honor of these great men and women who laid down their lives for their country, I will now propose a moment of silence. Thank you. Please enjoy the playing of the National Anthem by David and Taylor Labar. The flag flying over the high school today was previously flown over the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C. in honor of Penardrill High School. Now over to Graham Rose, who will be reading a speech written by Jared Albanese about what Memorial Day is. To some, this last Monday in May is simply a day off of work or school. But to many, it represents much more than that. All across the country, in every state, county, and community, there are those who take today to bow their heads in remembrance of those who gave their lives serving the United States military. Each year, Memorial Day honors those who answered their nation's call and fought to protect the freedoms and liberties that we enjoy today. Oftentimes, we as Americans take for granted the fundamental rights that we adore. Today is the perfect opportunity to step back for a moment and count our blessings, while saluting the brave service members who died fighting for them. Memorial Day has a long history dating back to the late 1860s after the Civil War left hundreds of thousands of American casualties. The first known celebration of this holiday was in Waterloo, New York, held by a group of freed slaves. On that day in 1866, the small town decorated the graves of fallen soldiers and unknowingly started a tradition that would spread throughout the country and last for many years to come. In 1920, the red poppy flower became the symbol of remembrance and is still used today to decorate the graves of deceased service members. Many Americans will also wear the flower to commemorate the fallen. It was not until 1971 that Memorial Day would become an official federal holiday and be cemented into American tradition. In modern times, parades are held across the country. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is visited by the President, and cemeteries everywhere are brightened by the red of the poppy flower. In recent years, we as a nation have grown only more and more divided, but it is days such as this that we must reunite in patriotism and raise our flag high. Be proud of our country and honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. So I ask you to please go out today and visit a cemetery, thank a veteran, fly a beautiful flag, and go about your day freely. But stay mindful of the brave men and women who gave their life so that me, you may do so. In the words of President Kennedy, the cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. Thank you. Next is Mario Scavello, our local state senator. He will talk about what Memorial Day means to him and our community. Good morning. I'm State Senator Mario Scavello, serving the 40th Senatorial District of Monroe and Northampton County. Today, we recognize and honor the many American military servicemen and women who have given their lives for the preservation of our cherished freedoms. We memorialize their willingness to pay the ultimate price that of their own lives, to protect our freedoms, and to fight on behalf of those we have no voice. I want to share a story with you called A Lesson in Freedom. In September 2005, a social studies school teacher from Arkansas taught a special lesson to the students this day, which shall never be forgotten. On the first day of school, with permission of the school superintendent, the principal, and the building supervisor, she took all of the desks out of the classroom. 
the kids came into the first period, they walked in, and there were no desks. They obviously looked around and said, where's our desks? The teacher said, you can't have a desk until you tell me how you earn them. They thought, well, maybe it's our grades. No, she said. Maybe it's our behavior. And she told them, no, it's not even your behavior. And so they came and went in the first period, still no deaths in the classroom, second period, same thing. Third period, by early afternoon, television news crews had gathered in the, in the class to find out about this crazy teacher who had taken all the deaths out of the classroom. The last period of the day, the instructor gathered her class. They were at this time sitting on the floor around the sides of the room. And she said, throughout the day, no one has really understood how you earn deaths that sit in this classroom ordinarily. Now I'm going to tell you. She went over to the door of her classroom and opened it. And she did, as she did, 27 U.S. veterans wearing their uniforms walked into the classroom, each one carrying a school desk. And they placed those school desks in rows when they moved along the wall. By the time they had finished placing the desks, those kids, for the first time, I think perhaps in their lives, understood how they earned their, those desks. Their teacher said, you don't have to earn these desks. These guys did it for you. They put them out there for you, but it's up to you to sit here responsibly, to learn, to be good students and good citizens, because they paid a price for you to have that desk, and don't ever forget it. Too many servicemen and women who continue to serve our country and put themselves in harm's way every day so that we can enjoy those freedoms. We have nothing but the sincerest of thanks. But as we continue to recognize all of those we have gone before us, I encourage each of you to honor their legacy. Support our servicemen and women. Thank them for their service. Honor the great flag of our nation as a symbol of freedom. Devote yourselves to a cause that is bigger than yourselves. Be an active member of your community. Get your hands dirty in service of others. Make a difference in the live, lives of others. And these are the ideals of which our nation was founded and has continued to thrive. Thank you for allowing me to share this important day and message with you. And before I finish, if you see a veteran, please reach out. If he's dressed in uniform or with a, with a veteran's cap, reach out and say thank you for your service. God bless you all and God bless America. Then we have Representative Ann Flood, who is our new District Representative for Northampton County, replacing Marsha Hahn. She will also talk about what Memorial Day means to her and our community as she takes on her new role. Thank you for the opportunity to share a few thoughts about a, a day that is special to me. First and foremost, I think it's important to point out the distinction between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. Veterans Day, which we celebrate in November, is a day to honor and recognize the men and women who served in the United States Armed Forces. On Veterans Day, we remember veterans who are still alive and those who made the ultimate sacrifice by dying to defend our freedoms. Memorial Day, on the other hand, is specifically for those brave men and women who died in the line of duty. These men and women sacrificed their lives so you and I can live in a land that's free. When I think of Memorial Day, I think of words like loss, sadness, and grief. I think about the empty seat at a dinner table where a mother or father, brother or sister, husband or wife once sat to eat their meals. There are many empty seats at dinner tables across our nation because of the sacrifices made by those who gave their lives in the service of America. Memorial Day brings to mind words like honor, respect, and sacrifice. On this one day, we remember the length to which one person will go to serve another. I'm reminded of what the Bible says in chapter 15 of the Gospel of John in verse 13, which reads, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. 
On Memorial Day, we remember the men and women who love their friends enough to serve them, even unto death. So while you were enjoying the unofficial start of summer that is marked by Memorial Day weekend, I'd ask that we all just take a few moments to remember. Remember that today's freedom was bought with the sacrifices of men and women who gave up a lifetime of summer days, barbecues and family get together so that we can live in a country based on liberty and freedom. Memorial Day is about keeping alive the memory or remembering those who died while serving our nation. If there's one word I hope you all take away from this, it's the word remember. Please take a moment to remember our fallen heroes. They've certainly earned it. Thank you for allowing me to share a few thoughts about this very important day. On this day, one of remembrance, one of memorializing, we, the people through the wars fought, remember the lives lost. The flag, a declaration of freedom, the flag, pride of our country. The flag, a sovereign remembrance of bravery, of courage, of those who sacrificed to shape, to create a future for all generations. We give our thanks, we give our gratitude, freedom, safety, opportunity, achieved by the strengths of fighting brothers and sisters of this country. From the past to the present and the future, we thank you for your strength. We thank you for your courage. We thank you for your bravery. Let us remember the heroic men and women who have fallen. As we conclude our ceremony, we would like to once again extend the most sincere thank you to everyone who joined us today. We would like to remind everyone once more that Memorial Day is this upcoming Monday the 31st. Enjoy your day off. Enjoy the extra time spent with family and friends. Enjoy your backyard barbecue or however you decide to spend it. But we also ask that you don't forget why you get this day off. Step back and reflect on your many freedoms that so many of our sons and daughters died to protect. We are asking you remember why you have the luxury and freedom we enjoy today. Thank you, and may God bless and keep our fallen, our veterans and active military, and the United States of America.